So Woodcraft makes an axle slider kit for the 2021 Aprilia RSV4. There is a front axle kit and a rear axle kit. There's one for the brake side and one for the clutch side. There's a base and then the puck. The base gets attached to the hole of the axle and then the puck gets attached to the base via this pin. So let's take it over to the bike and see how it gets installed. Uh, anytime you add some weight to the front wheel, you're adding some unsprung mass and that's gonna create some inertia and might affect the handling, especially as you get into corners. So this is something that you might or might not want to do, but the two axle sliders with the base and the puck weigh 6.38 ounces or 6.4 ounces. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so we're at the bike and uh, here's the base. I just removed it from the puck and I've got the bolt, six millimeter hex bolt. So this base slides into the hole. And just make sure there's no friction. It is precision um, measured, so there should be no friction at all. And you can point orient the hole to the top so that it'll be easy for you to slide the pen in. All right, once it's at the right position, you come in with a six millimeter hex key and tighten this bolt. It sort of expands and tightens. It's gonna be difficult for me to do it with one hand, so let me tighten it. Right, that's nice and tightened, and that just stays there. Here's the puck, and you can see there are two holes, of course, but the bottom hole here has a little dimple. I don't know if you can see the dimple there. That dimple stays to the bottom. All right, so it slides in like so with the dimple on the bottom. Once you slide it in, then the pin slides through. The pin has a little uh, button over there. So the button slides through the hole and there you have it. So I've already installed the clock sign. Exact same process. Perfect. Cracked axle slider. I set for the front, and I'll be doing the same thing for the rear. All right, now I'm going to uh, install the rear axle sliders. So again, I'll install the base using my six millimeter um, hex to tighten. Um, the base after I insert them into the axle hole and then I'll come back and uh, install the pucks. Now these two bases they look they look like they're exactly the same the diameter so I guess it doesn't matter which one goes into the left side versus the right hand side. So let's go ahead and um, push one in. I will say that I put a little bit of grease on the base to allow them to slide in. So as you can see, it slides right in. Then I'm gonna orient the hole up and then I'm going to tighten this using my six millimeter hex. So let me do that and get back. All right, so that's been installed, the base. Come back with the puck. And again, the dimple side faces down. So that's the correct orientation. Slide it in, bring the pin, slide that in, and we're done. All right, the right hand side base has been installed, been tightened, here comes the puck. Now, if you are riding with an organization that requires you to safety wire this, 
it's pretty easy to do so. Just push this ring out towards here uh, and then safety wire it to one of the pinch bolts. That should um, keep your tech inspector at bay. I doubt that they're gonna have a problem with this because it's pretty solid, but if they do, you can safety wire to that bolt.